A judge has set $5 million bail for the suspect in the fatal July 1st shooting of a woman along the San Francisco waterfront. Multiple sources report the gun used in the shooting was stolen from the vehicle of a federal agent with the Bureau of Land Management. The official, who was not authorized to speak publicly about the case and spoke on condition of anonymity, said a police check of the weapon's serial number shows it belonged to a federal agent. In an extensive interview with KGO-TV, shooting suspect Juan Francisco Lopez Sanchez says he found the gun wrapped in a shirt on a bench at the waterfront, and it discharged when he picked it up. Lopez Sanchez told several reporters he accidentally fired the weapon, which we are now being told was stolen from a federal agent's car. The case has drawn national attention as state and federal officials point to lapses in communication on immigration enforcement policy. Federal authorities say they wanted to keep closer tabs on Lopez Sanchez before the July 1st shooting, who has been deported several times since 1991. But San Francisco's status as a refugee city prohibits local law enforcement from cooperating with federal immigration officials unless they have a warrant. Lopez Sanchez pled not guilty during his court appearance on Tuesday. He is scheduled for another appearance on July 27th. For Newsy, I'm Catherine Beek.